Hi there, uh, welcome to a new FreeCAD video. Uh, this time I'm gonna show you uh, how to draw 2D objects in, in FreeCAD uh, in the BIM workbench. Uh, most of the BIM objects uh, are based on uh, 2D objects, like walls are based on a baseline, uh, structural components are based on a profile, etc. So this is pretty important actually uh, when working with BIM in FreeCAD all the time you're working with uh, 2D objects uh, and there are many ways to, to create these uh, these objects I'm gonna show you a little bit uh, what are the different options um, so by the way this is the new start workbench of, of FreeCAD uh, that's just in last month um, and um, so let's create a new document and um, as I showed you already in a previous video if for example you pick the wall tool and you create a wall uh, underneath that wall you have a 2D object which is this line same goes for many other or ob most of these objects uh, here work the same way for example if i build a window inside this window there is a 2d object which is the shape of the window uh, most of these beam objects here uh, worked work the same way um, so uh, you can usually either use the creation the tool uh, as I showed you or you can already you can uh, make the 2d object first and then use one of these tools to turn it into a beam object for example I can draw a line like this and turn this line into a wall simply simply by selecting it and pressing the wall tool uh, if you press this button or any of the others when you have a 2d object uh, selected uh, this 2D object will be used to, to create the, the, the beam object. Uh, so, for example, if I draw a rectangle like this, and I select that rectangle, and then I press the structure button, this rectangle is used as the profile of the structured object. It's still there inside my structural object. Uh, same as the wall I created from the line. The line is here. If I turn it visible, I can select it. It's here. Um, so these 2D objects are actually everywhere in, in BIM. And uh, there are several ways to, to create them. Uh, all of them pretty interesting and all of them depending on what you wish to achieve. So I'm going to create a group and put all these objects inside this group. Turned it off, so everything off, so they don't bother us. Um, so we have already we already have these draft tools here uh, in the Beam Workbench that are actually from the draft workbench. Where is the draft workbench here? Uh, these are the, the the normal tools, drawing tools from the draft workbench that are also in the Beam Workbench. Uh, they work a little bit like AutoCAD tools for who knows AutoCAD and other 2D CAD tools. Uh, you have line tool, you have polyline tool, uh, you have a circle tool, uh, you have an arc tool, uh, ellipse tool, rectangle tool, etc. Observe that all of these shapes that are closed uh, have um, make face property that you can turn off if you wish so these filled shapes uh, can be just a contour if you want this has uh, impact on some shapes for example if you make a wall out of this one uh, if it's a face uh, it will build, build a blocky wall uh, which is just a face that gets extruded if it's a contour uh, the wall will actually do the contour of it um, so that's one way. Um, another way, which is pretty powerful, is using sketches. Uh, sketches are actually 
a special object in FreeCAD that has its own workbench. And uh, sketches, the sketcher works a little bit like the draft tool that I showed you. Uh, you can draw lines, rectangles, polylines, anything. The difference is that um, all of this stays inside one object. So you have one object that contains all these lines, power, uh, polylines, and rectangles that, that I just draw, drew now. And another powerful uh, features feature is that you can place these constraints on your draft elements. For example, I can take this line and say this must have a length of half a meter. And then it says this line is forced to be half a meter. You see that these has have a vertical uh, restriction, which is this one. Uh, on them. Uh, so if I move this, they cannot uh, not be vertical. If I remove these two, now I can do this. I will put, put it back. Same for this one. And so the, the sketcher is really powerful. You can do things like putting a distance between these two, for example. And then this point above, if I move it, it has to move the other one too. Um, so you can do really powerful tools, powerful things with, with, the, with the sketcher. Um, let's say I will close it, and here it is. Uh, I can still, just by double clicking it, it I go back to, uh, to my sketch and I am able to edit it. Um, the fact that it's one single element uh, can be good for some uses and not so good for others. Uh, for example, I can make a wall from this. Um, and this is what happens. But sometimes you create like T situations where uh, it's not so clear what the wall must do. So these sketches are useful in some cases and some cases not. Uh, these other ones, uh, let's try. I can use this one to make a wall or this one. Um, they all work the same way, like uh, if it's a 2D object, it can be used for, um, for any of those, um, those BIM tools. And a uh, third interesting way is to import uh, geometry from another application, like a 2D CAD drawing. Uh, for example, I drew now these lines in QCAD here, which is another open source uh, 2D CAD tool. Uh, similar to LibreCAD. Uh, I exported this as, uh, as a DXF file. And then I can import that DXF file inside FreeCAD. Import, where is it? And here it is. Depending on the settings uh, that you use, uh, you will see that here my DXF file got imported into only one object, actually one by layer. But um, these three objects were drawn on the same layer. But depending on what you say in DXF preferences here, uh, you go to import export and DXF and you have several ways and uh, modes to import geometry from a DXF file. Uh, I chose the one that I mostly use, which is import everything in one object by layer, because uh, it's the fastest way and you can import really big uh, DXF files without any problem. But also choose to import like uh, each line becomes a different line, each rectangle becomes a rectangle, uh, etc. Uh, which will make the import a bit uh, slower, but uh, might be more convenient in, in this case. But it's also easy to, to cope with this. Uh, I can use this button, which is the draft downgrade tool. And what this tool do, does is to downgrade elements in something uh, simpler. Uh, for example, a face becomes the contour, then the contour becomes exploded in different lines. Since we have one compound object here, if I press this button, 
it will get decomposed into a series of individual edges. Um, so this is a single object now. Uh, I can take these, for example, and rebuild a wire from them. Now, this is one single object. I used this tool, which is the upgrade tool, which is the contrary of the downgrade tool. Um, for example, this, I can select these four objects. You see that there are here four separated objects. And by upgrading them, they have become one contour. If I do upgrade again, they have become one face. And if I do upgrade once more, now it's a draft wire, which is like the most powerful one because it can be either a face or not if you if you change its make face uh, property here. And the draft wire is basically the top the top. Uh, the top object that you can that you can get and so now you have one object here one object here and a third one here and you can use this to make for example walls check that uh, if uh, this object is now a contour i had its make face property to false so if i build a wall it becomes this but if i take back my wire which is here it's still there inside the wall and I, if i change its property to true what happens is that, that it has become a face and the wall um, depending on the object it's based on behave differently if it's based on a line it will like create a thickness and extrude vertically if it's based on a face it will just extrude vertically we consider that if you have a face uh, you already have the thickness like it would be like the, the footprint of a wall for example um, so basically that's it that are the most useful ways to, to create 2d geometry in in FreeCAD um, it really depends on, on what works best for, for a specific case in some cases it's easier to use these tools because they are really simple um, and also because they are easily editable, like you know, the, the draft rectangle here, for example, has its height and length properties built in. So you can change this easily. Um, if you make a, a sketch, and um, you can draw exactly the same rectangle in the sketcher, and also put eight meters length and let's say two meters height and I have the same rectangle in uh, the, the, the it's two two uh, dimensions are here as well um, but it's a, little, it's a little bit more uh, lengthy operation but um, you have more possibilities inside inside the sketch it really depends on on what you need, and um, in many cases, um, people are, are more used to, to work with with, with another with the two D two D tool. So this goes faster in that case. It would be faster for you to draw your two D geometry in another program and import it in FreeCAD through through the DXF format. It really depends on on, on the circumstances. So uh, I think that's it. Those are the most. Those are basically the, the ways to, to deal with these 2D objects in in FreeCAD. Um, so I hope this was useful, and um, see you next month with a new video. Bye.